Hey there. And uh, no, in case you're wondering, my chair is not broken. It's fine. I just thought I would join the floor gang, even though I'm late. You know, it's a lazy Sunday evening and uh, I was thinking what should I do right now before going into the next week and then I'll be busy again. I thought my keyboard is pretty dirty, I should clean it up and I wasn't gonna make a video about this thing. You remember the Amkit Fireblade, right? I've made a lot of videos and I didn't think I would cover this anymore but some of you asked me and I remember this that how do I clean this keyboard? So I thought I would clarify two things in this video. First is, yeah, you can easily clean this thing and secondly, if I recall correctly, in my older video I said that the keys are not removable. Uh, I actually meant to say that they are not replaceable. You see, you can remove the keys, just like that, but the keys are, well, this is a membrane keyboard, so the same keys go into the same exact slot, so you can't easily replace it with some other keycap of uh, some other style or some other color. So it has to be the same key of the same keyboard, otherwise um, it'll not fit. So yeah, let's just clean this keyboard then. It'll be a short video. You don't have to watch it if you don't like. The key to fixing your keyboard is a good technician like this. Okay, so first order of business is to remove these keycaps. Uh, like I showed you, you can remove it by just pulling on it hard like this. It does hurt your fingers a little bit. So uh, you can use something like a professional tool like this one. Hey, this is actually easy way easier like this remember you still need those keys so go search for them so here's the ninja technique to remove keys properly just hold on to the top and pop it from the bottom like this boom just like that now I can't do it fast because uh, I'm a righty and uh, yeah I don't feel good with left hand that's what she said and don't forget these metal thingies in here you can actually leave them in if you want but they are called stabilizers they stabilize these giant keys so that they don't wiggle around and they are pressing evenly when you uh, click on them who says you need professional equipment to do things professionally look at that all it takes is some skill and a genius like me so once all the keys are removed you'll be left with just the uh, the surface like this and you can kind of see how much dust and dirt has been trapped underneath it well it doesn't seem much actually but you know considering this thing has always been indoors it shouldn't be this dusty you can rub it down directly or you can spray something like a, I don't know a cleaning solution that's meant for your displays it works on these things as well so let's disinfect it a little bit then you can just use an old toothbrush like this and uh, just clean this stuff this one is not old though, but someone else is using it, so I don't care. Once all the dirt is out, you can use some kind of a cleaning cloth to kind of wipe the dust off of it. Fun fact, this was actually sent to me from uh, uh, some weird brand that makes bicycle cleaning kits. This was back in the days when I was uh, writing promotional blogs and stuff. Now I just make videos. I told them I don't have a bicycle, but they sent it to me anyway. Look what I'm using it for. There, nice and clean. You know, now that we have it without the keys, we can kind of take a look or uh, get a better look at the paint here. Surprisingly, the keys on this area seem to have fine paint, but only the bottom section seems to have been messed up somehow. I think when they were painting this section, the paint overlapped here. And it looks like they had the uh, masking tape and they installed the keys and then they spray painted everything together because as you can see, some of the keys have... Uh, some of the keys have proper paint on the top, but uh, towards the side it doesn't reach all the way because the, the spray paint was done on the top like this. You better do this outside because this thing will have a lot of dust that will just fly up in the air and get in your nose. You can take someone's help if you want to clean the keycaps. Go on, get to work. If you have a cleaning glove, something like this, you can basically put the keys in there and just wiggle them around a little like this. And after a while, they will be cleaned easily. Okay, almost done. I've never used my fingers this much before. That's what she said. There we go. All cleaned up. Oh man, keeping this clean is impossible. Now it's time to put them back. You know what, just leave the stabilizer there. Install your key and then push that into its place over there. Can you see? You just need a thin enough tool something like maybe a screwdriver bit that can push it in like this 
there we go perfectly stable the shift key being a smaller key is a little bit easier to install i could easily manage to slip those points directly from the top like this and now i just have to push it in its place like that Ow, sh be sure not to hurt yourself when you're pushing down because it suddenly goes in since these are uh, membrane keys they take a lot of force to go in but as you can see it works fine the rest of them are pretty easy uh, only those two had uh, stabilizers on this keyboard let's install the remaining keys just by pushing them in and if some keys like this x key kind of confuse you like which orientation does it go because it's a slightly uneven key uh, look at the uh, keys in the same row and look at the shape of those keys like you know that b and m they go in the same way so if you can see that the, it's slanting downwards meaning that i have to install this key uh, like this so this is how it goes is it an n or is it a z what is this again look at the uh, slanting of it as you can see it's uh, slanting downwards here which means that this is the way to read it it's a z and in case you get confused where to install a key um, well simply search for your uh, keyboard's picture in, uh, in online and you'll get the uh, layout of the keys now i'm an expert so i know how to do it but in case you don't know it then even if you make a mistake it's fine when you plug it in start typing a word document and try to press each key uh, in case you have misplaced one key with another then you will know by the change in functionality that it has to be swapped and you can easily replace it later there are two control keys on a keyboard and there are two types of control in your life one that others have over you and the one that you have on yourself both are fairly important lots of things in life are meant to be taken lightly that's why j and k are together so you can easily say just kidding sometimes we get our directions wrong in life it's okay making mistakes is perfectly human the important thing is we learn from them and correct it. Correcting them can be painful, but it's worth it. Just follow the flow in most things and they'll all generally fall into place. Like that. In the journey of putting your life together, you'll make many mistakes. But don't worry too much about your failures. People may laugh at you for once, but remember, everything eventually ends. And just like that, we have a clean keyboard. Sorry I turned into keyboard Sadhguru at the end, but I mean, I had an idea so I went with it. Hopefully you liked it. I mean, one of you did actually ask me, right? So that's the answer. That's how you clean this Fireblade keyboard. Share this video with one of your friends who needs to clean their life or clean their keyboard. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers.